Okay guys, I'm going to show you my new PWM. First of all, this is this is what's unique about my new PWM. I can switch the frequency. First of all, I'm not using a 555. Just so you know. Like I can switch the frequency and you can see that let me play with my trigger here. No, let me switch my. I can. My trigger is busted, as you can see. Like, I can switch the frequency in pretty much like the same ratio of pulse frame. I can choose the number of pulses. I can go. I don't have the switch now, it's a luxury switch, but I can choose between two number of pulses. I can go from two pulses, three pulses, one pulse, like three pulses, you know, like, go to, I can go up to seven pulses. Like. Wow, well, that's what I think is useful. I don't think too much pulses is good. Let me just play with you can see it's always 50 50 and just play with the frequency. But also what I like about this, this is a new cut this is my idea. This is this is all me. Also there's a protection here. They, it, there can never be any overlapping like with the Latin circuit or the Jolt circuit, you can see some overlapping. But you can see I can just double or triple the frequency instantaneously or quadruple it. Like, god damn it. So hard to work with this busted scope. Like, I can just like go from small frequency, like, I can quadruple in instantaneously. I can go to 11 kilohertz, to 44. 44 to 11, like whatever. That's pretty good. Also, if you don't like this, like uh, easy gating, this is what I call it, easy gating. I can also switch for the jolt like gating. I'm using half of the jolt circuit for this. So, also there the protection is is there, so there can never be any partial pulse. Either it's a complete pulse or like this is my own protection. I made this. Nobody, I was the first to make it. 